Hey folks, Ashley here, allthingsindustry.com. We're talking about, I was just completing a crown lengthening uh, procedure today on the uh, maxillary left, and one of the approaches that we have been the, taught and have discussed at length is sort of the lingual approach or palatal approach rather than a straight buckle. And preservation of the furcation is a huge uh, factor, especially when you have really thin cortical plate. And we can discuss that more at a, a later point. But when you are doing that palatal, any type of palatal procedure, uh, this the tissue after you elevate it is fairly, it's thick, it's well bound down, and it's tough to manipulate, and especially trying to keep it away from the tissue. So in addition, my uh, perio mentor was discussing that as if he's placing implants or even um, completing crown lengthening on the, on the uh, mandibular arch, he'll elevate the lingual mucosa, periosteum as well, to make sure, and we were talking about uh, ensuring uh, perforating the lingual plate, so in, in an effort to keep the tissue away and maintain hemostasis, he places a little bit of gauze there. So that was one of the neat tricks that I learned from him, so thank you Dr. Latte ice and placing gauze underneath, especially on the palatal, not only does it provide hemostasis uh, some, but it also keeps this tissue elevated so that when you go to remove it, or when you're doing a procedure, the tissue is elevated away from the, the, uh, the bone. But also when you go to remove this, it sort of expands the tissue and the tissue stays there. So that was an interesting technique. So it just took a two by a simple two by two, cut it, uh, every situation is going to be different. Just cut it and then uh, fold it up. Now the key thing is to remember to remove it and not leave it in situ. And then just pack it underneath your uh, your flap and it remains there for as long as you need it. Dr. Insaney was talking another technique that he was uh, discussing with me, which was just using, especially on the palatal, I guess you could do this on the lingual, it's a little tough on the tongue, was just to place a suture through the palatal tissue and then you can either just leave it like this or tie this around Let me zoom in here a bit. so you can either sort of leave it like this and if you have an assistant have the assistant pull or you can knot it off and anchor it on the opposing arch or the adjacent arch so just like that And then we'll just tie it off like that. And we'll just go with that. And tie it off in a knot and off you go. So uh, just another technique, gotta make sure you don't tear your flap. So we were just talking about quickly uh, ways to maintain uh, the flap elevated uh, when you're doing procedures such as implants or crown lengthening procedures or even open flap to bribant. I hope that helps. Cheers.